What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NBA Player Props video. We got a three gamer today. Uh, so, not the best of slates, but we do have the fantasy score props posted to the board, which is fantastic. Uh, I've been trying to share these fantasy score props with you guys on the channel just because of all the crazy bumps on all the other props uh, on these apps. Now it's been next to impossible to produce content um, on the picks that are really the best. I gave up two picks yesterday that I liked a lot. One of them got bumped right away. That was Drew Holiday's assist. Uh, it was looking like both picks were going to just cruise under. Drew Holiday really wasn't dishing out any assists, and Jaron Jackson Jr. really wasn't getting any rebounds. And then all of a sudden, Jaron Jackson Jr., I think he got like one or two rebounds in the first half. Third quarter just comes out and explodes on the board. So unfortunately, he went over. Uh, we went one and one on that video. We are currently on a three and one run. For those of you who are new to the channel, anytime you see that there's a run in the title of the video, that means we're hitting at above a 60 Five percent hit rate. The reason that I do that is because I do provide two free picks for you guys on the channel. Want to make sure you're getting a solid return on your investment if you were to play all these picks, the picks that I give out, the picks that I control. And being that if you were to play those two picks, you would need to hit at above a 65% hit rate to get a really solid return on your investment on two mans on prize picks 65% of the time. You're going to get a 27% return on your investment if you're hitting at that rate on your picks. Five and six man flexes are much more optimal. I do preach to play those as much as possible. If you can pair this, you know, with a solid uh, four other picks, that would be great. Um, if you're looking to get access to every single one of my tickets as soon as I place them, all sports, all apps, the premium content is going to be where it's at, guys. It's $49.99 a month. If you're someone that's really looking to step up your game, get very serious, it is a no-brainer. I'm giving you all picks, all tickets, all apps. We were able to hit again over there on Underdog last night. Uh, we had three different tickets, unfortunately, with a DNP that hit as well. Um, so they 3 x It's optimal to play three bands over on Underdog because they pay out 6 x which is higher than any other site. It could have been a much larger night over there. We still profited up two units on the night, which was fantastic. We were one leg away from a five-man on Underdog as well. Um, so it was a good night. It could have been a lot better. Uh, Brandon Ingram was the guy that I had in a couple tickets. I was on a couple of different ones of his props that I liked a lot with good value. And he unfortunately got late scratch with an ankle injury. Uh, so we were able to pair him. And Daniel Gafford was another one with some really quality picks. All those picks hit. But unfortunately, the third leg was just a DMP. So instead of that 6x, uh, we hit for 3x. But regardless... Um, the premium content is where it's at. If you're getting very serious, guys, that is linked below in the description. It's just these sites are getting so good at bumping plays. When the value is there, it doesn't last for long. So with the package, if you're getting serious, like I said, you're going to get those insta alerts. You'll be able to place as soon as I place. Um, try to beat those bumps. Even sometimes, I send them right away. Like, I am quick. Even sometimes after I place and send right away, they're bumped. So um, that's just the reality of the industry and what we're dealing with now. If you're someone that's just looking to have fun, you're not really too serious, looking to tail some picks, you know, throw a little bit of money and watch some game with some friends and family. Totally understand that. That is not for you then. The premium's not for you. Just take these free videos and use the picks in the free videos. Um, that's for people that are getting really serious. So, uh, we'll talk about the picks. We'll game by game as we always do. If you enjoyed the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It's free. It takes two seconds to do. we got thousands of people watching these videos. Like I said, we're on a nice little run here. We'll try to give you two winners. Not the best slate, but uh, thankfully the fantasy scores are up, so I'll be able to give them to you guys. If you're a new user and you haven't signed up for prize picks, you can use the promo code KJKDFS and receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Lock in these picks start winning some money. Let's talk about it. We'll go game by game as we always do. And the first game I'd like to discuss is going to be this New York Knicks-Cleveland Cavaliers game. This game comes in with a 212.5 over-under is a 3.5-point spread in favor of the New York Knicks. So expect to stay close. Not the highest total at all. It's a very low total um, in this game. But you look at the expected pace. It's actually not too bad. It's actually the second uh, fastest pace game on the slate as far as the projected pace is concerned with a 101.2 pace metric. Uh, but first guy I'd like to discuss is going to be Jalen Brunson. Um... I think he's being underrepresented over here on prize picks. He hasn't had the hottest of starts so far on the season. You look at his fantasy point per minute production. Uh, the usage rate's been there for him. Just the fantasy point per minute rate has been down a little bit. Um, Jalen Brunson, a guy that's rocking a 27% usage rate, which is really good. That's going to put him up there as one of the top usage point guards on the slate, trailing only Donovan Mitchell. Um, as far as his fantasy point per minute production on the season, you're looking at 1.04 fantasy points per minute. Now, I think that's a little lower than what we're going to see from him uh, throughout this regular season. I think he's due for some positive, positive regression here. 
I got the numbers pulled up from last season for Jalen Brunson. Um, last season, you're looking at 1.11 fantasy points per minute for Jalen Brunson. So uh, 1.11 last season over a much larger sample size. This season, it's been down a little bit. Uh, like I said, only 1.04. I'm expecting that to go up a little bit. The minutes have still been there. He's playing uh, as far as his minutes per game, 32 minutes per game. So he's a guy that's going to be there. He's going to be out there for the low to mid 30s. Um, a guy that's putting up, you know, a little bit over a fantasy point per minute as far as his production is concerned. And when you look at his fantasy score prop over here on Prize Picks, I uh, do think they have him misrepresented. They have his line currently set at 34.5. Um, he cleared this on the 27th against Atlanta. Cleared it on the 25th against Boston. Last time out, had a little bit of a rough game. Uh, but I'm expecting him to clear it here once again. I haven't projected over. I do have him in the upper 30s. They've got him in the mid 30s. So uh, I think they're just not quite pricing Jalen Brunson right in the fantasy score category over here on prize picks today. Uh, we look at his game logs just as far as how he's getting the job done. I always like to pull that up for you guys just so you can get a visual of um, how he's contributing to his team. You can see last time out, like I said, had a bad game. Four for 14 from the field, one for five from the arc. He had four rebounds, five assists, 14 points. Time prior, 31 points, five assists, three rebounds. So that's more of the Jalen Brunson that we're accustomed to seeing. And then the time before, six assists, three rebounds, points in those three steals, which is huge in the prize picks fantasy scoring format is if he's able to rack up some steals. But um, he's the point guard. He's going to get his assists. He's going to get his buckets. Like I said, the usage rates are there. I think his fantasy point per minute production is due for some positive regression, as I stated. This year, we're only looking at 1.04 fantasy points per minute. Last year, he was up more over that 1.1 or so. So I'd expect his production to continue to climb up. And um, lastly, like I just said, I'll just put it to you straight. They've got his line set at 34.5 as far as my latest projection on uh, Jalen Brunson. I've got him going out there and getting around 38 and a half. So, you know, that's a base projection. He has a ceiling of 50 plus. If he's going to have a bad game, I've got his floor like at where they have his line set at like 34. So um, 34.5 is a great line to be attacking on the over. I think pretty soon we're going to see him price in the mid to upper 30. So take advantage while you can. For pick number one, we're rocking with the over 34.5 fantasy score here for Jalen Brunson. Uh, like I said, I've got him in the upper 30s. You know, 38, 39 is where I'd expect him to end this game. 34.5 is too low. Uh, he could have a bad game and go under here, but even if he has a not so good game, like I said, I've got his floor like in the mid 30s, so he could have a game that's not so good and still clear this line. So that's why I really do like it. Um, for pick number one, we're rocking with that 34.5 fantasy score for Jalen Brunson, and then pick number two, I uh, got a guy that's been so far a hot topic on the channel because they just continue to misprice him on the LA Clippers. I've talked about him already on the season. It's going to be Paul George um, on this LA Clippers team. They did just acquire James Harden, but he's not going to be with them yet, not making his debut. That might shake up the usage, the fantasy point per minute production, and how kind of things are being distributed on this Clippers team. But for now, tonight, we got the same old, same old. we got Paul George, who's been absolutely crushing. He's a guy that's a blocks and steals machine, uh, which is fantastic for us on prize picks. He's got a 28% usage rate. On the season, putting up 1.35 fantasy points per minute. That is fantastic. That leads all small forwards on the slate tonight. Um, shares the floor with Kawhi Leonard. When we're looking at their usage rates and how it's broken down, Kawhi's rocking a 29% usage rate uh, on the season. And then Paul George, 28%. So really the ball is going to be in these two guys' hands uh, the majority of the time within this offense. The fantasy point production, though, it's been the Paul George show, Kawhi Leonard show. But Paul George has actually been producing at a higher rate, 1.35 uh, Kawhi Leonard 1.32 and price picks actually I think has Kawhi Leonard price higher which I disagree with 220 and a half over under 1.13.25 implied total for the LA Clippers and I expect a lot of that 113.25 to be coming from uh, contributions from Paul George as it has been all season and then like I said when you break down the block and steal upside for this guy he just becomes an absolute cheat code uh, in the price picks fantasy scoring format you get one point for every one of those points, 1.2 for every rebound, 1.5 for every assist, three for those blocks and steals. All great things. Negative one for those turnovers. Paul George, I think he had like six steals in the first quarter last game out. It was just ridiculous. I've been taking his over like every night, it seems like. 
just because he's been popping in my model and price picks continues to have him underpriced, like I said. Uh, 28 minutes last time out. Yeah, five steals, 19 points, five assists, four rebounds. That's in a game that turned into a massive blowout. He only played 28 minutes. Um, 83 to 123 being the final score. A tie before 38 minutes, nine for 17 from the field, 36 points. Didn't even get any blocks and steals in that game. Four rebounds, one assist. Time before he got those three steals. So he's obviously going to get you uh, those buckets, but he can contribute in the assist, the rebounding category, and then those blocks and steals. Kind of like what we talked about with Jalen Brunson. Those points do add up uh, in the prize picks fantasy scoring format. And um, similar to Jalen Brunson, they just have his line too low. 38.5. He's cleared this in each of the last three games. Like I said, the last game, he didn't even play a lot of minutes because it was such a blowout. 45.3 fantasy points in that game. And uh, I've got him getting up there in the 40s in this game once again. Mid-40s as far as my projection is concerned. He's got a ceiling of 50+. plus. Um, you know, this is probably a guy that's going to be priced once again. I mean, James Harden coming over is going to shake things up, so I shouldn't say that, but I, he should be... 39.5, 40.5, 41.5 .5, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 38.5 is great value. Taking the over, I think he goes out there and puts up in the mid-40s here tonight once again. Uh, so we're rocking with the over 38.5 fantasy score here for Paul George. I think I broke it down and made it pretty clear. Both these guys going to be out there on the floor for mid to upper 30s. Both guys producing at higher rates than what Price Picks has them priced at. Uh, both guys projected over. This is factoring in the matchup, the pace. Everything's factored in. You know, I kind of break it down to give you guys a visual, but um, the bottom line is the blocks, the steals, the points, the rebounds, the pace of the game, the over-under, all that stuff's factored in these projections that I've discussed with you guys. So that will be my two picks to get you winning some money over here on Price Picks in the NBA tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content I upload. The premium content will be linked below in the description. Uh, once again, if you want access to all picks, all ticks as soon as I place them, the VIP member package is going to be where it's at. You can also check out the lower tier options if you so choose. It's going to be a cheap price point. It's going to be a full list of all of the plays that I've locked into my tickets for a single sport and a single app throughout that day once all my research is done. Just keep in mind, the bumps happen very quickly. I cannot control the bumps. Uh, also, you're getting guaranteed optimal tickets on all platforms, all sports, all apps that I cover. Uh, in the VIP. So it's a no-brainer. You get the instant alert. You open up your phone. You lock in with me and you, you know, you're good to go. You know all the research that's gone in behind, behind it. If you watch the content, um, everything that I discussed factored into the picks, obviously, on the back end. And looking forward to continuing to win people money over there. Looking forward to hopefully winning you guys more money for free here on the channel today. Thanks for tuning in. Best of luck tonight. and We will see you in the next one.